Hey guys, thank you for joining in with Pastor K. Um, I wasn't able to go live on today because of due to the internet service. Um, we didn't have any internet service so we can record live. Not record live, but go live. But I'm doing a recording now on what the topic was on today. And the topic today was, God heard you the first time. Some of the times when we begin to pray, we feel like our prayers are not being answered. But we got a first, a second, and a third heaven. Amen. And it's not a geological location. It's in a realm that we must be in. Amen. Our first heaven is right here on earth. Amen. In our mind. We don't go no further than right here. Our second heaven is when we have to go through the demonic forces, the demonic stages, or what have you. The, the principalities, the rulers of darkness of this world. Amen. And then we got the third heaven where Jesus and God is. Amen. But anyway, um, where I came up with the topic from what God gave me was when Daniel... When Daniel began to have a vision, this was his final vision, amen. And you can follow along in chapter 10 if you want to um, have some script on what I'm talking about. But Daniel began to have his final vision, and he was trying to get some clarity on what his vision meant because it was, it was very terrifying to him. So what had happened was Daniel began to sacrifice himself. He began to sacrifice food. He began to sacrifice meat, amen. He began to sacrifice wine or whatever the case may be. It tells you that in the script. So what he did was he began to go on a fast because he had them put a prayer out there for the Lord to um for them to reveal on what his dream, not his dream, but what his vision really was. So by him uh praying to God and he going on his fast, and by him by him fasting, he had got very weak. He got very weak and very tiresome, amen, because he didn't have really no strength in his body to keep going on. So I want to remind you on the day is that some things come out through fasting and praying. That's what the scripture told us. But how desperate Daniel was, he began to keep fasting. He began to keep praying because he knew that God was going to open up a window of heaven for him. He knew that God was going to manifest himself to him and let him know what that vision meant. But he just didn't know how long it was going to take. But it took 21 days for the angel to come and tell uh, Daniel on what his revelation, what the vision was. So when them 21 days was up, it said it was the 24th day when the angel began to come to him to let him know that God heard you the first time. See, we got some prayers that we had been praying, but it's held up in the second heaven. Amen. The enemy don't want us to receive what God has in store for us. So therefore, he'll try to hold our blessing or try to cock our blessing uh, and try to have us feeling weary or weighed down like God ain't moving. But one thing we can rest assured that God had sent Gabriel some help to be able to go fight off the prince of Persia so he can deliver the message to Daniel. Amen. But Daniel was weak at this time. And it say like he was trembling. He was on his face and he was trembling. And the angel had to come and touch him to get him some strength back. So if we got enough people that fast and got some people that praying, we know that sometime when we're on our fast that we'll lose some energy. We'll lose some strength on this journey. But I encourage you on the day to keep pushing and keep pressing and don't give up because the prayers that you have been praying it's got to manifest itself. Amen. It's just being held up from the Prince of Persia. Amen. Because God has given us angels to be deliverers to us. Amen. But they done been held up by the evil one from the devil. Amen. But at some point in time, he gonna have to release what God has already promised us. Amen. And the prayers that we done prayed. Amen. So don't get discouraged because the prayers that you have been praying is not being manifested. Don't get discouraged because the prayers that you've been praying is not coming to pass. I come to remind you on the day that the enemy got to loose your prayers in Jesus name. This is the 24th day. Even though this is the first day of the month but this is the 24th day to let you know the prayers that you have been praying for is about to come to pass oh we might as well give God some glory right there knowing that our prayers are being answered knowing that God heard us the first time when we prayed but we'll continue to keep praying the same prayer over and over like our God didn't hear us but it's okay to keep praying the same prayer but I'm here to let you know that our prayers get hemmed up that's why we're not getting it in a timely fashion amen but everything is on God's timetable we don't know what the angels have to go through in order to, to give us what we need from the Lord. Amen. They are fighting off things on our behalf. They are warring off things on our behalf in order, us, in order for us to receive what God will have for us. So don't stop praying even though it don't look like it's coming to pass. I'm here to remind you, yes, I am lunching out in the atmosphere with a prophetic world on today. That day that you've been praying for today is your 24th day. Amen. Your prayers must be manifested on today. Amen. Michael, the archangel, had to go and help Gabriel to bring back the word that 
God has had for you. So now is not the time to get discouraged. Now is not the time to get frustrated. Just know that God has your best interest at heart. That you don't have to give up on this journey. So keep your prayers coming. God is in tune to your prayers. It's not that he's forgotten about you. It's just that they're being held up by the Prince of Persia. But now it's time for them to release what God has in store for you. Amen. So don't get weary and well doing. But continue to trust God. Amen. Keep them prayers coming. I know you've been praying for your daughter to come out. I know you've been praying for your spouse to get right. I know you've been praying for your children to, to stop rebelling against God. I know you've been praying for the enemy to stop riding on your trail. God said, I has not forgotten about you. I know you've been praying that that, that uh one that's an uh, addict, you looking for them to come out. God said he's about to answer every prayer. Amen. We know you've been praying for the lost, for the sick, for the shut in. Amen. God said he's about to manifest that thing. So all we got to do is believe and know without a shadow of a doubt that our prayers get hemmed up huh? because the prince of Persia. Amen. Some prayers don't get hemmed up. Some prayers go straight on through. But I'm here to remind you on the day. Huh? You keep praying your prayer. Huh? You keep doing what God has called for you to do because it's manifestation time now. It's manifestation time for your prayers. Amen. You keep praying for your success. Huh? You keep praying against the enemy. You keep doing all things God has called for you to do. Amen. It's manifestation time. So you stay in a race like a good soldier. Don't give up and don't give in. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Know that we're on top through Jesus Christ. With that being said, hit that like button, that subscribe, that notification bell. Amen. And I'll see y'all next time. Just know your prayers are being hindered, but on today it's being manifested. We got to believe and know without a shut of a doubt that God is working it out on our behalf. Y'all be blessed on today in Jesus' name. Bye.